Yes, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year 2024. Imagine in a few days time we'll be saying goodbye to 2023 and we come to 2024. I believe you have been blessed this year so far. It has been a blessing even to your life. Now, how was your Christmas yesterday? What did you celebrate? Did you celebrate people, the day, or did you celebrate Christ? Please share in our comment description below so that you also get to celebrate with you. Now, as we continue with our topic and our show, The Whispers of the Spirit, mm -hmm. we are still talking about the role of the Holy Spirit. And now we are interacting on 0714596888. You can also watch us on Facebook Live, we are on YouTube Live, and we are live on my home TV mobile app. So you can download it on Google Play Store or my App Store, and then you are good to go. Our guest is in studio, Alianda Christmas Akarudi, because of you who is watching, and therefore we give glory to God. As usual, let us pray even as we begin. Father, we thank you for this moment and this blessed uh, time that we have gathered to even listen from you and oh, yes. uh, be encouraged by you mm -hmm. and be re refreshed even by your word. As the word is going to come in through this conversation, we pray that, Lord, may you minister to our hearts, oh, yes. minister to our soul. I pray for my viewer. Mm -hmm. In whatever they are going through, God, through this talk show tonight, mm -hmm. you are going to impart them and oh, encourage yes. them. Thank you for my guest. Thank you even for the production crew behind this program. We give you glory. Glory in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Now take your book and a pen and sit down and relax. We are going to have an amazing discussion. Karibu sana. Thank you. How was your Christmas? My Christmas was wonderful uh -huh. and I enjoyed, you mm. know, remembering that for sure mm. Christ is the reason as to why we need to celebrate every day, not amazing. only on 25th mm. of December. Mm. So it was amazing and uh, we had fun. Amazing. Mm. Do, do, do you need to celebrate Christmas when you're alone? Ama, do I always see people kill them to end our shagu? Kwanza sisi wa western. Mm. <laughs> I, I've never understood what is behind that. Mm. Or is it's just having a union with families. You know, when you read Psalms 133, mm -hmm. uh, the Bible says that how good it is mm -hmm. when brethren, you know, mm -hmm. gather together, celebrate together. Mm -hmm. It's like the oil that is flowing mm -hmm. from the beard of what? Mm -hmm. The beard of Aaron. Wow. So it's always good to gather with people, okay. you know, fellowship together, and have a swallowship together, okay. you know, get, you know, to remind yourself and give updates of what has happened through the year, encourage Amazing. that those perhaps through the year they never started well mm -hmm. and, you know, has been difficult for them that is a moment you know when you meet those ones who have made it to encourage you mm. and those who please who are, are passing through a hard moment also can be encouraged wow. so it's a good thing to gather to and encourage to and, and gather together you know even uh the bible says that when god gathers his people he never gathers them in vain mm. so when we gather with our family members in village there in wherever we are mm. god is gathering us for a reason and Amazing. for a purpose Amazing. so it's good to you know celebrate to together celebrate. with your families mm. relatives and friends okay yes um for, for some of us who are um, at the age of uh, marrying mm -hmm. we always have a challenge going home for christmas because there's one question yes that everybody asks it's true mm -hmm. and uh for some reason we shy away from going home because of those questions anyway mm -hmm. uh we are here on the whispers of the spirit and i like us to begin by reading a scripture mm, yes. in the book of romans chapter 8 so if mm. you have your bible let us read the book of romans chapter 8 and mm. uh, from verse uh, <coughs> 9 or from verse 10 yes, to yes. verse 11 mm. so romans 8 from verse 10 to 11 here's mm. what the bible says but if Christ is in you, mm. then even though your body is subject to death because mm. of sin, mm. the spirit gives life yes. because of righteousness. Mm. And this is what it says, verse 11, And if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from, from the, the dead, dead is living in you, mm. he will raise, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal body mm. because of his spirit who lives in you yes amazing mm. now i'm looking at this scripture mm. and i'm having uh, several questions oh, yes. but maybe just a brief overview understanding of this scripture w what is it talking about here in this in this verse when you start from actually nine mm -hmm. when you start from nine eh, yes yes you realize that um the uh, paul is speaking to 
the church eh? mm -hmm. speaking to the church and and, and he's warning us mm -hmm. in in and when you read i want mm -hmm. you to just read let me so just that, read for you yeah, verse 9 let's, let's verse read. 9 says mm -hmm. you however are not in the realm of the flesh exactly but are in the realm of the spirit yes if indeed the spirit of god lives in you mm -hmm. and if anyone does not have the spirit of christ mm -hmm. they do not belong to christ exactly so you okay. remember initially uh -huh. we, we were talking about the spirit of god being what being in, a seal yes Send you? yeah yeah being a seal to every believer uh -huh. so you see so being a seal to every believer meaning mm. that whosoever has the spirit of god belongs to belongs to god belongs to god okay. so because remember when we shared about it and we say that the spirit of god mm. is a seal mm. of is a seal to every to believer, every believer yes. a seal of ownership mm -hmm. a seal of authority mm -hmm. and a seal that that person is belonging to christ mm -hmm. jesus mm -hmm. you see okay. and a seal of authority mm -hmm. you see okay. so those three things mm -hmm. so if you belong to christ jesus mm -hmm. then it means that you have the spirit of god in you okay and if you have the spirit of god in you mm -hmm. then it means you belong to Christ, Christ Jesus. Okay. So when the Bible is saying mm. that however you are not living in the flesh neither mm. controlled by the by sinful the nature. nature. Okay. So remember when <clears throat> the spirit of God is inside you mm -hmm. and me, mm. Louis, mm. let me tell you that you will not be controlled with the desires of the of flesh. The flesh. Okay. Why? Because the spirit of God is taking charge of your flesh. Mm. You hear? He takes charge of your flesh and you will not fall into being a prey to mm. sin why because your mind has been controlled by the spirit of god he Amazing. becomes a sway a con controlling you mm. controlling your mind controlling your body mm. controlling everything in your body mm. so that's why paul is saying that anyone who does not you know who does not have the spirit of god mm. does not belong to christ okay. because that's remember okay. the spirit of god gives you an mm. honor ship mm -hmm. as a what as a child of god mm -hmm. when you look at paul i mm -hmm. want you to read the book of romans chapter 7, mm -hmm. romans 7. and verses 15. okay romans chapter 7 verses 15. i'm um, here it says uh, i do not understand what i do exactly that is paul Mm. Paul is confused. Mm. Paul reached a moment of time also mm -hmm. when he was being controlled by the sinful nature. Okay. You see, he was being controlled by the sinful nature. Okay. And Paul is there perturbed mm. and he's saying that what I want to, what, what I want to do, I find I myself, find myself not, not doing, doing it. it. Okay. And what I do not want to do, that's I find I myself do. doing it. I think that's you what see. we normally go through. Exactly. Believe, that is we normally that is what we normally yeah. do as as what? Yeah. As as believers yes. you find yourself going the other other way uh, instead of going this other yes. way you mm. become you 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 find yourself in the same state mm, that paul fo found himself you're being controlled by the mind i mean by by the sinful nature mm -hmm. and you know why we are controlled by the sinful nature we all know what happened in the in, in the in the in the garden of eden yes. when man fell mm. when adam and eve fell mm -hmm. what happened mm. sin be the sin of Adam and Eve was imputed to every to all the man. Generation. As long as you are a man and you're mm -hmm. living, the sin of Adam was imputed to each one of us. Mm -hmm. And that's why because we carry this flesh, mm -hmm. we carry this flesh. We are born in sin. We are born in sin. Okay. But now what makes us different mm -hmm. is when you come, when you when you give your life to Christ Jesus, mm -hmm. being washed by the blood, mm -hmm. being cleansed by the blood. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Bible says mm -hmm. in Romans chapter 8 verses 1, mm -hmm. Therefore there is no now no condemnation for those, those who are, are in Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. You see, okay. so when you're in Christ Jesus, that imputed sin, mm -hmm. God removes it from away from you. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. because why? Remember you are now a new person. Mm -hmm. Behold, the old has been... Mm -hmm. As you well. know, has been dealt with yes. by the blood of Jesus, uh -huh. by the forgiveness mm. and by the finished work of the cross. Mm. So let's come back to Paul. Mm. Paul is saying that, mm. you know, what I want to do, I find myself not doing. What I do not want to do, mm. I find myself Mm. I do hate it. what I do. Exactly, I hate what says. I do. Yes, so yes. he realized that, oh, what I do not want to do, I mm. find myself doing. And mm. what I want to do. I do not do. Yes. It's because I have been controlled by the sinful mm, nature. nature. Okay. And what does he give us solution? He gives us a solution mm. in, in Galatians chapter 5, Galatians. verses 15 to 16. Galatians chapter 5, Yes. verses 15 to 16. To eh? 16 yes. This is what Galatians says. Mm. If you bite and devour each other, mm -hmm. watch out 
or you will be destroyed by each other. Exactly. So I say, mm -hmm. live by the Spirit exactly. and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. Yes. Okay. So now Paul, after realizing that, oh, mm -hmm. I'm being controlled by the desires of my flesh, mm -hmm. by the desires of my, of my, of my, this out, outward man, mm -hmm. <coughs> then that's why I'm ending up to do whatever I do not want, whatever I want to do, I that's do not. What I don't do, exactly. Eh? Mm. Whatever I want to do, mm. I find myself not doing it. Yes. Then he realized, oh, the secret is walking by the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. Walk in the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. When you walk in the Spirit of God, mm -hmm. you will not gratify the desires of the, the flesh. flesh. Okay. Why? Because remember, when you read Romans chapter 8 and verses 6, mm -hmm. the Bible says, mm -hmm. to be carnally minded mm -hmm. is death mm -hmm. to you. You know? Yeah. T to be carnally minded, you can read it. Yeah, uh, Romans 8 verse 6 says, The mind governed by the flesh is death. Exactly. That's what to be carnally minded is, is, is death. death. But the mind governed by the, the spirit, spirit is life and peace. Forever. Okay. You see, so mm. to be carnally minded, Louis mm. here, mm. and our wonderful viewers, mm. to be carnally minded, to be controlled by the desires of the flesh, uh -huh. and to be controlled by the desires of this outman mind, mm. is death. Meaning to be carnally minded about your marriage is Death. death to be carnally minded about your job is death okay. to be carnally minded about your children is death okay. to be carnally minded about your ministry is death okay. to be carnally minded about your future is death okay. but to be spiritually minded mm. is life mm. and peace forever okay. why because the spirit of god is the one who carries life in every believer okay. so to be spiritually minded about your relationship mm. is life mm. to your relationship mm. to be spiritually minded about your marriage is life mm. and peace <coughs> to your marriage to be spiritually minded about your family mm. is life mm. and peace mm. to your family to be spiritually minded about anything that concerns you mm. is life and peace Peace. Why? Amazing. Because the Spirit of God mm -hmm. is the one who carries that life. He's the author of life. Okay. When we, when you read Genesis chapter one mm -hmm. and verses two, mm -hmm. the Bible says that when, the, when that before the creation of the earth, mm -hmm. the earth had no completely anything. It was confused. Mm -hmm. Let's put it like that way. It was the earth void was void and dark. Yes, it yes. was void and dark. It was mm -hmm. confused. But when this when God spoke mm -hmm. and the Spirit of God was hovering upon the earth, yes. when God said, "Let there be light." Immediately light came. Light Who was bringing that light? The, the spirit, spirit of God. Of God. Because okay. he is life. Okay. You see, okay. he is life. Mm. And when you read the book of Ezekiel mm. 37, mm. you remember the story about the dry bones? Mm. When you start from 11 there, mm -hmm. the Bible says mm. that, that Israel mm -hmm. had reached a moment when mm. they had the whole nation was dead. Mm. And it was dead because of sin. Mm. You know, sin brings death. death. Okay. Because you are carnally minded and driven to the desires of the flesh. Amen. You begin to do according to what your flesh demands. Mm. And not doing mm -hmm. according to what the Spirit of God demands. demands okay. So the Bible says the entire nation was dead because of mm. sin. And when the entire nation was dead because of sin, then God speaks to Ezekiel mm -hmm. and tells Ezekiel, Ezekiel, can you prophesy to those bones? Mm -hmm. Do you believe that life can come in? Mm -hmm. And Ezekiel said, it's you, God, who knows. Mm -hmm. And what did God say? Mm -hmm. He breathed. Mm -hmm. God sent his spirit to breathe up upon those bones. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says out of those bones came out mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. So you see, mm -hmm. so the spirit of God was yes, the life. breath of God that brought life to those dry bones. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says, behold, it was a mighty what? Army. Mm -hmm. So you see, so he brings life in each of our lives. Mm -hmm. So when you read Job 33 and verses 4, mm -hmm. the Bible says, oh, the spirit of God has made me. Mm -hmm. The breath of God has given me mm -hmm. life. life. Okay. So you see, yes. so the spirit of God makes you. Mm -hmm. The spirit of God makes your relationship. Mm -hmm. The spirit of God makes your children. Mm -hmm. The spirit of God makes your marriage. Mm -hmm. The spirit of God makes your ministry mm -hmm. and gives it life. life. Amazing. So you see, yeah. he's the one who gives life Amen. that is the power of the, the power spirit of, the of god spirit. so if you are a believer out mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. and perhaps you have not been seeing life mm. in ministry life mm. maybe you're not operating in that force of the spirit of god manifesting in life mm. and manifesting in power mm. then it means you have not cultivated yes. your relationship yes. with, with him because okay. it calls cultivating your relationship with mm. him okay. and you begin to see this life mm -hmm. you begin to see Things happening in your life. Mm. Why? Because he is life. Okay. Let's go back to the story of Mary. Mm -hmm. You remember Martha mm. when Jesus when 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 uh, when 
Lazarus, the best friend of Jesus, was dead, eh? was dead when you read John chapter 11 mm. and verses 25. Mm. The Bible says when Jesus reached there, Mary is like, ah, master, if you had been here, mm. perhaps my brother, brother would have been be well. Okay. What did Jesus say? Mm -hmm. I am the life. I the resurrection. Uh -huh. I am the resurrection mm. I and I am the life. Okay. That spirit that was in Christ mm. is the resurrection and life. Mm. Because the Bible says the same Mm -hmm. You read it there, mm -hmm. that the same spirit that who resurrected Jesus, Jesus from, death. from the death yes. is the same spirit mm -hmm. that lives inside every believer Amen. who has accepted Jesus mm -hmm. as their Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. So is there anything that is dead mm -hmm. in your life? Speak life mm -hmm. because you have life inside you. Mm -hmm. The spirit of God is inside you. Mm -hmm. The spirit of Jesus is inside you. Mm -hmm. So you have the entire spirit of God inside you Amazing. who brings forth life, who brings forth, you know, something to live mm. so as a child of god mm. we ought to live in a life mm. amazing that is operating in life mm -hmm. you're not supposed to live in a life that you're str why are you struggling now, now allow me to ask you this question yes how how do i l let me use the normal term how do i jump start this thing because i have the spirit <laughs> of god in me i love the word yeah. jump start but I, yes. i'm struggling mm. I'm, I'm my my marriage is not working yes. my business is not working but i'm born again mm -hmm. i i go to church mm. i give but things are not working out so how do i activate this life that you're saying that is already residing inside me because i'm already born again so, what 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 do i need to do for mm -hmm. this life to appear and this life to start operating or is it because there's a hidden sin that is preventing this that is another thing uh -huh. because the bible says uh -huh. that we ought to die to to, the, sin. to sin okay when you read romans just uh -huh. go back there let me go back let's, to romans, let's huh? read romans chapter 6 uh -huh. and verses 11 to 14. romans 6 11 to 14. Yes. here it says uh -huh. in the same way Count yourself dead to sin. Exactly. But alive to God in Christ. Yes. Okay. Count yourself dead to sin. Okay. Let me tell you, Louis and our wonderful viewer, mm -hmm. when you operate in sin, mm -hmm. it blocks everything mm -hmm. in your life. So you can be born again. You can be born again, but operating in, in anger. Yeah. Let me tell you, before, okay. me when I got saved, yeah. I was somebody who struggled with anger and bitterness. Okay. And remember, I am born again. Mm -hmm. And forgiveness, mm -hmm. three things are operating in my life. Bitterness, mm -hmm. anger, mm -hmm. and unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. Until the Spirit of God spoke to me and told me, mm -hmm. Patricia, if you want to see life mm -hmm. inside you, mm -hmm. do away with unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. Do away with bitterness. Mm -hmm. Do away with anger. Mm -hmm. So when you invite the Spirit of God to work in your life, mm -hmm. I want to tell you, He will begin, you know, to work inside you. Mm -hmm. Inside you, slowly by slowly, you will begin to see the life mm -hmm. of the Spirit of God inside you. Mm -hmm. Even like a small thing that would hurt you, mm -hmm. would not, it would, will not take you, you know, to get annoyed for a long time. Me, I had people that had held in my life. Okay. When I get annoyed with you, I can take even a whole year without speaking to you. Mm. Even a whole week, even a whole month without speaking to you. Wow. So you see, mm. so that one blocked even my mm. blessings. Mm. Because remember the Bible says, if you do not forgive your brethren, mm. even my father in heaven well, will not forgive you. Okay. And remember, unforgiveness also blocks your blessing you know so many people think that sin is going to sleep around with men yeah. sleep around with women yes. that is what they think sin is mm -hmm. but it is goes beyond that even and for yes even thinking, and forgiveness yeah. bitterness mm -hmm. anger and yeah, remember all these things begin from where the mind and that's why the bible says that make sure that you co you you surrender mm -hmm. eh, and commit all your mind mm -hmm. eh, unto the lord worship mm -hmm. him in spirit soul body and mind okay. let your mind worship him mm -hmm. let your soul worship him let your spirit worship him mm -hmm. worship him mm -hmm. that's why the bible says carnally minded carnally minded so the things that you think about are a bit carnal exactly and so if they are carnal then you are uh, there's something you have said and uh, because i'm a worshiper i think yes. it, this is an answer to something eh? mm -hmm. when you said when you are carnally minded you are dead, dead. Uh, because uh, sometimes we, we we tend to think or to worship god carnally exactly you know i'm going to serve because i dead. want to receive something it's in, in dead return, eh? 
So we, we are not serving God with our minds for who he is. Who he is. Okay. Because when you go to worship God mm -hmm. and serve God, mm -hmm. do not serve God for because he gave you a job. Mm -hmm. Do not serve God because he has given you marriage. Mm -hmm. Do not serve God because he has done this and this. Yes, mm -hmm. he has given you marriage, he has given you children, he has given you everything. What are you left again? Mm -hmm. What are you left with? The thing that you need to go in a place of prayer and worship. Mm -hmm. Worship God for who he is. He is. That is being spiritually minded. Yes. Because spiritually minded worshiper mm. is dead. Because remember, you know, you just want to show people that you know how to sing. You practiced well. Mm. You have nice lyrics, you know. Mm. But to be spiritually minded, worship the Lord for who he is. Yes. And you worship God for who he is. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you, Louis, mm. even if you sing one song, perhaps you did not practice it. Mm. The presence of God will come oh, down. Nice. Why? Amazing. Because you have acknowledged God for who he is is Amen. so the same way as a believer mm. spiritually minded about your ministry mm. you're going to struggle my dear okay. even getting those people to come in church mm. yeah you will not have enough number of people in the church, in the church why church. because you're carnally minded mm. when you're a letter sadaka mm. when you're a letter tithe mm. you're not seeing the lives of people being transformed mm. you're not seeing the life of people being changed you're not preparing people for the coming of our lord jesus Christ because you're carnally minded and perhaps that's why you're struggling in that ministry Ministry because mm -hmm. you are carnally minded, mm -hmm. but to be spiritually minded is life and peace in everything in your life. Amazing! Wow. Yes. I, I feel I feel like this is a whole service in, in a package. What you are remaining for just an offering, but our number is down the screen, so Amen. you can you can send your offering. Yes. Uh, uh, the Holy Spirit uh, sanctifies us exactly. and makes us holy. Exactly. I am a believer, uh, born again. I'm struggling with sin. Mm. How do I get to be sanctified and to be made holy? What do I need to do? One thing mm. that a believer wants needs to do, yes. just as you, you're because supposed to read, you're just, supposed to read Romans chapter 6, mm. 11 to 14, and I cut you short, sorry mm. for that. Yes, yes. So Romans I want you to, 6, yes. yes, 6, 11 to 14, 14, just read the whole of it, mm. then we'll get our answers there. Now, I, I read 11, let me go to 12. Yes. Therefore, mm. do not let sin reign in your mortal body, exactly. so that you obey its evil desires. Mm -hmm. Do not offer any part of yourself to yes. sin mm. as an instrument of wickedness, exactly. but rather offer yourself to God mm. as those who have been bought mm. from death to life exactly. and offer every part of yourself to him as an Believe. instrument of righteousness. Yes. For sin mm. shall no longer be your master exactly. because you are not under the law mm -hmm. but under grace. Exactly. Okay. So you see, mm -hmm. so if you offer yourself, mm. your members of your body, mm. offer yourself completely to the Spirit of <clears> God, <throat> mm -hmm. I want to tell you, you will have broken the relationship between you and mm. sin. Okay. You hear? Uh -huh. So when you offer yourself completely to the spirit, to, 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 to the desires of the flesh, mm. then you are into a relationship mm. between you and the sin. Amazing. So as a believer, just offer yourself completely, all mm. the members, members of your body, of your body completely okay. to the desires mm. of the spirit. It, because remember, the Bible says mm. there are two things battling here. Mm. Remember, this the sinful nature mm. is battling with the spirit. Mm. The body wants you to feel, the sinful nature wants you to, to gratify the its desires. desires. Of the flesh, yes. And the spirit here is also wanting you to, grat to gratify the desires of the, mm. spirit. the spirit. So the only way you can do it mm. is total surrender. total surrender. I'm not going to tell you that now do this and this. Mm. Just surrender yourself totally to the spirit of God because Louis, mm. if the Spirit of God operates in you, mm. even if somebody came with a very short skirt mm. and showed you know her cleavage out, you if you will not fall for God. it, why? Mm. Because you are dead to sin. Amazing. Because remember somebody who is dead, Louis, mm. let's give an example. If we bring a dead person in this show here right now, mm. alafu, that person is dead, they love to rush and nusu. Will mm. that person listen to that? Maybe mutu mengine apite tu hapo na pesa mingi ama anything like that. Mutuweke harufu ya chakula. Ama uweke harufu ya chakula. Will that person respond to that? Because he is dead. So the same way we are supposed to die to the to die to sin. When somebody comes with 
a, 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 an idea of corruption, mm. you're dead to it. Mm. When somebody comes with an idea of immorality, mm. you're dead to it. Mm. Why? Because your, fl your spirit and you know your flesh are now working hand in hand with the spirit of God. Mm. You know, the spirit of God has subdued mm. your flesh okay. to the will of the Father mm. and to the will of God. God. So there is no way you're going to fall into a prey mm -hmm. of sin wow. because he is in charge of you. Amazing. And that same spirit mm -hmm. that was in Christ Jesus, mm -hmm. who resurrected Jesus from mm -hmm. the dead, mm -hmm. he lives in you. Okay. So when you are a believer, mm -hmm. The Bible says mm. the same spirit that is elected Jesus from the dead mm. will quicken our bodies for the day of resurrection. Mm. He will quicken our body. How? He's going to make sure that our bodies, you know, are being revived. You know, they are being revived. And in the way they are being revived, we are no longer operating on the flesh, on the mm. mortal body. We are operating in the immortal because that is the same body he gave to Christ when Christ resurrected. Mm. How much more won't he secure us for the day of resurrection? Wow. Uh, what I'm getting from all this conversation eh, is a uh, surrendering ourselves yes to to christ yes to the spirit of god exactly. to receive life mm. so ju let me just break it in simple terms before we pray mm. those who are having issues with gossip and exactly. they are born again we surrender our members that is the mouth exactly to god those who are having issues with lust surrender mm. your eyes your to thoughts god. Yes. to god mm. uh, those who have anger issues of when you're angry you find your hands beating somebody eh? surrender your hands to, to, to God. Because all mm. these things start from the mind. Start from the mind. Yes. Wow. I, I, want, minded. I want us to pray. My, my, my yes. producer is telling me my time is up. Mm. I want us to pray for a viewer there who is yes. watching. Mm. And uh, he, he's, he's born again, mm. but he's really struggling. Mm. And, and this is what we, we are struggling with as believers. We're struggling with bitterness, mm. anger, and forgiveness. We're struggling with lies. We're struggling with sexual sin. Young mm. people, surrender our sexual organs to God. Exactly. You know, we, we are struggling with sexual sin we are struggling with stealing we are struggling with beating people and going to places you're not supposed to be uh, some appetites that are not even godly mm. I want you to to commit these people to God and yeah. we pray for them maybe in, in a minute or two so that God may the Spirit of God may revive them mm. and renew them yeah please also another thing just mm. to before we pray mm. I want our wonderful viewers to know mm. that uh, our own righteousness. The Bible says that our righteousness is as that of a filthy, filthy rag. rag. When yes. you read Isaiah 64 and mm -hmm. verses 6. Mm -hmm. So the righteousness, we live by the righteousness of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Because of his righteousness, mm -hmm. the Spirit of God is able to change us. Because the Bible says because of the righteousness mm -hmm. of Christ Jesus, we are able to live by that righteousness. Mm -hmm. Our own is like filthy rags, mm. you see. Mm. So, our wonderful viewers out there, mm. one thing as we have spoken is just surrender. Yes. Cultivate your relationship with the Holy Spirit. Mm. When you gave your life to Him, He's there as a seal of ownership to you. He's there as a seal of authority. And He's there as a seal, you know, to, to, to guarantee you that you are a child of the Most High God, you see. So he has given you victory over the bondage of the flesh. Mm -hmm. You have victory because it's the victory that is inside us, mm -hmm. you know. He's the power that gives us victory over bondage. Mm -hmm. He's the power that he has been given unto us as yes. a seal of mm -hmm. ownership. Wow. He's the power that he has been given unto us, mm -hmm. as you know, to secure us for the day of resurrection mm. so we are so happy and joyful that the spirit of god will quicken our bodies for that day of redemption mm. and that day of resurrection mm. so as a child of god surrender and as we are going to pray just i want you to just you know tell god i have this weakness mm. I, I had a weakness of anger mm. and bitterness mm. and unforgiveness mm. but god dealt with it through his power. Mm -hmm. So the same spirit who resurrected Jesus from the dead mm -hmm. is the same spirit that is inside you. Mm 
Yes. The Bible says, Jesus said to Martha, mm. that I am the resurrection and life. So mm. I want us to lift our voices and just begin to call upon the Spirit of God. Mm. Father, we come before your presence yes, this Lord. evening. Mm. Lord, we give all praise to you. Mm -hmm. We thank you for the wonderful gift that you gave unto each one of us. Yes, the Lord. gift that seals us as children of God. Mm. The gift that seals us as owned by you mm -hmm. the gift that sells us to authority mm -hmm. you have given us authority mm -hmm. and the spirit of god is authority mm -hmm. and power over every bondage in mm. our life. Yes. Father, we are lifting that brother mm. who is perhaps is struggling with anger. Yes. You're there struggling with anger. Mm. You're struggling with bitterness. Mm. You're struggling with unforgiveness. Yes. You're struggling with lust. Mm. You're struggling with with kind of sin. Oh, yes. I pray that you call upon the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. Tell the Spirit of God, let me cultivate my relationship with you. Yes. Oh, Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you right mm -hmm. now in the life of that believer, mm -hmm. in the life of that sister and brother. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, begin to quicken them. Yes. Begin to quicken them to not live by the lust of the flesh mm -hmm. because your word says to be carnally minded. Mm -hmm. He's dead to our spirit. Yes. He's dead to our ministry. Mm -hmm. He's dead to our jobs. Mm -hmm. It is dead to our businesses. Mm -hmm. How I pray this evening, Lord, that each one of us is going to be spiritually minded minded, mm -hmm. being directed by your spirit, eh, that will begin to have life in our marriages, mm -hmm. life in our relationship, mm -hmm. life in our businesses, yes. life in our education, mm -hmm. life in our careers, mm -hmm. in Jesus mighty name, and spirit of God right now take charge and fill them right now, mm -hmm. and at the end of it all glory and honor shall be unto you, mm -hmm. for it is in Jesus name, mm -hmm. we have prayed, believing and trusting, amen, amen. and, and amen. amen, and amen, amen. I I believe you have been blessed by by this program and uh, whatever you're struggling with the holy spirit lives inside of you it's time now to surrender and allow him to take over and allow him to activate the life of christ in you Amen. if you have any question or comment or you are blessed by this program Tell us through our number on the screen, 714 You can also share on our Facebook feeds and our YouTube feeds in the comment section. You can also call us, WhatsApp us, and also check us on our mobile app, My Home TV uh, application. And the Lord will bless you. Amen. Thank you so much for being a blessing, even Thank this you. Christmas season, as Thank people are celebrating, too. but yes. we are going to teach them about the Holy Spirit. Amen. Don't allow this festive season to take you down. Mm. Uh, celebrate, but remember you're a child of God and have some boundaries because again yes. we might go and over overdo this mm, things. celebrate with yeah. understanding exactly mm. celebrate with understanding don't overspend yes. don't enter into bad company yes. just because you think your pastor or your your the people that you are fellowship with are not seeing you mm. god is watching oh, and yes. the spirit of god is watching mm. so god bless you so much until next uh, program we'll meet next year for our next amen, program amen, for the glory you. of God. Thank so thank you so much for watching the program. I've been your host, Louis Derek, together with our guest, Patricia Abele. Let us see you in our next program next year, 2024. God willing. Shalom, shalom. Uh, have a blessed night.